I want to make a difference. I strive every day to do that in my job. It's really exciting to know that what I come into work to do has a huge amount of impact in terms of changing the way the science is heading. My aim is to create safe products for everyday use and I'm passionate that developments in science do not need to use testing on animals. Billions of cosmetics are sold worldwide. It gives me enormous pride to know that I work for a company that has been pioneering non-animal approaches for 30 years. At Unilever, this is what we do. My name is Georgia Reynolds and I'm a product safety scientist. I work at Unilever's Global Safety and Environmental Assurance Centre. We are pioneering in consumer safety using non-animal approaches and also environmental and sustainability sciences. Consumer safety is non-negotiable. My name is Julia Fenton and I'm the head of Unilever's Safety and Environmental Assurance Centre. Working with other organisations worldwide, we have been involved in the development, the evaluation and then the regulatory acceptance of the non-animal methods that we now use. When we do a safety assessment of a new ingredient going into a Unilever product, the first thing that we'll concentrate on is what is that ingredient and how are people actually exposed to it. It's essential that safety is robust and we have take that very seriously here at Unilever. My name's Carl Westmoreland and I'm Director of Science and Technology at SEAC. If we're evaluating a new ingredient for a deodorant, for example, we look at how it behaves on the skin. Clearly, you don't want to use a new product using a new ingredient that's going to cause a skin allergy. My role is to look at new ways of looking at how we would risk assess skin allergy and immunology and how we can apply these sort of methods to a risk assessment for a new ingredient. I've been a toxicologist for over 30 years. Looking back, animal studies were really the only tools that we had to be able to generate data on ingredients and assess their safety. The advent of cell culture methods and being able to develop models on computer screens has radically changed the tools that we can now use to assess product safety. We were also able to stop any animal testing of ingredients several years before the European Union cosmetics testing ban came into place in 2013. I think this ingredient is going to be going into a, a deodorant of some kind. Is there anything else we need to be thinking about here? Yeah, so my concern would be if this is a spray that we're going to have to think about inhalation. We use um, simulated use experiments with mannequins who are specially instrumented to allow us to measure the amount of that ingredient that is present at the breathing zone. And then our mannequin is taking five litres of air per minute. And the, air the science we're using in safety assessment at the moment is really innovative and that's what I enjoy about my job. The fact that we're using things like computational chemistry in our safety assessments today have progressed due to a combination of different disciplines in this science. Everybody is a consumer, including myself, and you want to make sure that whenever you use any product that you are always safe. It's not something that you should have to think about. I am really lucky to be able to take our knowledge and our science and be able to travel around the world and talk to scientific communities at conferences and meetings. Transparency in what we do is critical to the acceptance of the new approaches. We have published over 550 articles on the scientific research that we have done over the past 30 years. The research that's done by and supported by Unilever is of the highest quality and is internationally respected. It's our hope that the methods and tools that Unilever develop can be used in other areas globally. We're really proud that our non-animal safety science has now enabled some of our brands to obtain cruelty-free certification by PETA people for the ethical treatment of animals. I love working for Unilever. I absolutely love that my work contributes to a cause that I really care about and that I get the chance to kind of do rigorous science. I'm very excited, yeah. It's an evolving field and change is happening quickly. How many languages do you know? It is fantastic to have so many younger people now working in SEAC. I fully expect these young scientists to be accelerating the pace of change. It's really exciting to know that every day new technologies are developing and getting better and better in the non-animal testing industry. On a daily basis, I want to know that I'm making a difference on consumer safety, but also in the longer term in the scientific community, really gaining acceptance using non-animal approaches. That is the real goal.